Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can install and also how we can uninstall or how we can remove software in Ubuntu Linux. Now I'm already logged into my Ubuntu Linux here and I have the terminal open. I'm gonna be going over two ways that we can install software. One way is by using the terminal and then the other way is by using uh, the GUI, uh, using a software manager or packet manager that's uh, GUI based. Let's begin by showing how we can do that on the terminal first. Now, before we install any software, best practice is to make sure that we are, we are updating the local package database list, and we'll be using the app tool to run the commands that are associated with packet management. So to update packages, we'll run the command sudo apt update. So what that command does is, is that it's going to fetch the latest or the newest list of available packages from the repositories that are configured on our system. So it's it's done here and it's telling us that 90, 99 packages can be upgraded. When it comes to upgrading, if we needed to upgrade the packages, the command to do that will be sudo apt upgrade. And this is just going to install the packages to the latest version. And this could take a while, so I'm not gonna run this command at this time. Let's move on to the command that actually installs packages. And that's the sudo apt install. And then here you'll just put the name of the package you wanna install. In our case, let's install snapd, which, which is a package management utility. So press enter. And it was already installed here, so it didn't install it. So that's how you would install a package. Uh, there's also another way of installing packages. If you're trying to install packages that end with the .deb, then you'll need to use a different tool to do that. Now to demonstrate what I'm referring to, I've changed directories to my downloads folder and I'll do ls here. As you can see, I have a package for Google Chrome that ends with .deb. In order to install this kind of package, we'll use a command that is different, like I said, and it's going to be sudo dpkg-i and then the package name. What this is going to do is going to unpack the package and then install it and it's done. So that's how you install packages that end with .deb. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is how to fix issues that you could run into or errors you can run into when you, when you install a package. You could get an error saying that there's missing uh, dependencies and one of the commands you could run, let's get out of this, is the sudo apt fix broken install. And what this command is going to do, it's just going to try and fix any packages that have dependency issues. Okay, next we will look at how to remove or how to uninstall a package. Let me clear. Now to remove a package, there's you have two options. You can run a command that just removes the package, or you can run a different command that removes the package as well as the configuration files. The first command for just removing the package or uninstalling a package is sudo apt remove and then the package name. Let's remove what we just installed, snapd. And that should just remove the package from the system. And it's done. Now, if you also wanted to remove uh, any configuration files that are associated with this package, the command you'll need to run is sudo apt page, page, and then the package name, snapd. And that should remove the configuration files as well. Moving on, we'll look at the GUI software for package management. And, and the name of this tool is a uh, Snaptic. So we'll need to install it. To install it, you'll use the command sudo apt install Snaptic. So it's already installed on this system. And to open it, you can either do sudo, you can open it from here by using sudo snaptic. 
or you can search for it from the menu here, show apps. You can just search Snaptic and here it is. Just click on it to open it. You need to put in a password. And this is the tool right here. Now, if you're looking to install software, you'll need to search. You can search for it. Just click on this icon. And in here, you can type the name of the software or the package. Go target. Let's install that for demonstration. And then go search for that. Once you find it, click it, right click on it, and then mark for installation. And then it's going to list what's going to be installed, all the dependencies. Then we'll click on Mark. Now it's got a tick next to it. Now you can click Apply. And again, you can see what's going to be installed. Click Apply again. That starts the installation. And it's done. The installation is complete. I can close this. If I needed to uninstall it, I'll just open that tool again. I'll put my password again. And I'll come here, I'll search for the package. Go target. It's found it. I'll click it, right click it, and click on Mac for removal. And it's got a next next to it. I'll click apply. It's going to show you what's going to be removed and what's unchanged, all the other packages. I'll click on apply again, and it should begin to remove it. And it's been removed. So that's it for this video. Those are the two different ways that you can install as well as uninstall packages or software on Ubuntu Linux. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.